Great drill to use towards the end of your warm up is the forward and backward run, right? So we want to prepare the athletes to sprint, but we also want to be able to do these movements forward and backward. So the forward run, we're thinking about a couple things thinking about driving your knees up. When we accelerate, we wanna have the athletes proactively drive that knee up towards the chest, okay? Second thing we wanna think about is what's the toe doing? Is the toe up towards the shin? So knee up, toe up is another great cue that we want you to keep using with the athletes. So knee up is here, toe up means toe up towards the shin versus toe down. If the toe is up, we're pushing away from the ground. If the toe is down, will decelerate and use braking forces, which we want to avoid, all right? The backwards run is gonna be the same thing moving backwards. So that means we're gonna to have to reach those legs backwards, the same sort of stride we use in a forward run. Reach the legs behind, mimicking a forward sprint, all right? So guys, we're gonna sprint through just the foul line. We're thinking about driving your knees up and keeping your toes up towards your shin, all right? Now with your arms, think about only moving at the shoulder and keeping your elbows bent. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Running through the foul line. Ready and go. And relax. Go ahead and jog back to the baseline. Great job, great job. Okay, the next version we're gonna do is that backwards run. So the same thing, we wanna think about form and technique, but we also wanna be dynamic at these later portions of the warm up. All right guys, get to the foul line as fast as you can, moving backwards. Ready, go. That's it, reach, 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 and relax. Go ahead and jog it back to the baseline. So key things to put into the later portions of your warm-up. Again, we wanna have uh, increased core temperature in these warm-ups. We wanna be prepared dynamically to sprint and cut, change directions and jump. These are two great drills that you can include as the last parts of your warm-ups to prepare the athletes for basketball.